to add narration to your PowerPoint, all you have to do is go to Slideshow, hit Record Slideshow, and start recording from the beginning. And you want to keep both of these on here. Now, whenever you do, whenever you do your PowerPoint, just make sure that whenever you hit Enter to advance the slide, it's going to give you a little pause between the slides. So I'm going to hit Enter now. And then when we play it back, you'll notice that we have some gap between the two. I'm going to hit Enter again. And now again, I can end up with whatever it is that I want to finish. And when I'm done, I'll hit the X at the top where it says Close. The End. And then, in order to check what I've done, I'll go to Slideshow and I'll lay it from the beginning. Whenever you do your PowerPoint, just make sure that whenever you hit enter to advance the slide. Now, Ms. Frederick, Ms. Spink, or Ms. Holston might want you to export this and turn it into video. So here's a file, and you'll go to export, and you'll go to um, create a video, and then use recording and times and narration. And it says slides that do not have timings will use the default duration, any recorded laser point. So you do have timing and narrations. So I'm going to create the video, and probably they will ask you to make it into a, a WMV, the Windows Media file. Um, either one, just ask their preference. Windows Media tends to work really well with the Aspen program when you upload your video to submit it. So I'm going to save mine to my desktop or to my OneDrive, even better. I will save it to my OneDrive. And then you'll see at the bottom, well, it says creating the video, and it'll take, you know, a few minutes. And so when I check in my OneDrive, I can look and see, okay, there's my Light Dry Y, and you can see that it is a Windows Media. So that's my video. Whenever you do your PowerPoint, just make sure that whenever you hit Enter to advance the slide, it's going to give you a little pause between the slides. So I'm going to hit Enter now. And then when we play it back, so you can see that it finishes and it does the narration and the transitions. You don't have to click. You don't have to do a thing. Enjoy your project, guys. Good luck.